What's up guys and welcome to another GNC RC video. Today I'm on camera. Everybody always asks, why you don't get on camera? I don't know. I just, I'm not shy. I just don't get on camera. Been on camera a million times, not on this channel, but, but anyway, that's another story. Today guys, I got something that's going to be new to some of you guys and it's old to me, but it's going to be new to you guys. It's probably about, I'm going to say 13, 14 years old and it is larger than most of the cars I do run, that I choose to run. I got some larger cars, but I really, for some reason, I like the smaller ones better because of space. And then money, of course, I have a car that is pretty much the size of a 10 scale, but it's considered a mini. And like I said, it's probably about 14 years old. One of my favorites, man. Really one of my favorites. Anyway, without further ado, this is the Hyper ST, which is the electric edition. Like I say, guys, about 14 years old. This particular one, I've had it sitting up and I just really hadn't done anything with it in a while. Body still looks brand new, guys. You notice we got the custom phones from my guy that does the phones. These were done 14 years ago and they're still holding up really, really, really well. But we're gonna take these off and put something different on it. I got a few things I gotta do to it to get it going. Really simple things, because I did take out the ESC, which I'll show you guys. So it has older model Traxxas motor. This is one of the 540 XLs, I think. Don't quote me on it. I bought this some years after I bought this thing and I ran it on 6S, 4 and 6S. And it is really, really fun. It does have a center diff here as well, if you guys can see it. And we got a Traxxas servo on there. That's really old. This thing has been through several configurations, but we're gonna put it back together. I say put it back together. It's not broken anything. I just need to add the parts to it. Like I say, guys, this thing is really, really fun. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a really, really big pinion on there. That is a Mod 1 pinion. Bunch of my speed run cars back in the day, that's what we ran. And on 6S, this thing goes, man. But the one thing we are going to do is because this motor, to wake up, you need to be running about 4S on it. But we're going to do something different with this particular one. I'm going to show you the battery that we're going to be running. So what battery am I going to run on this? I'm trying to give you guys a hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hit. At least that's the brand. We're going to be running the CNHL 120C 9000 milliamp 2S battery, which is a high volt battery as well, 7.6 volts. Make sure you check the link in the description because you're probably going to want some of these batteries. These guys have a real good sale going on right now. And of course, we're going to be using EC5s. Comes with EC5s. This is what I normally use on my larger cars anyway. EC3s for the smaller ones, and if it's really small, EC2. Now, you heard me say earlier that this is a low kv motor and 2s is not going to do anything on this particular motor because it's really really low kv i could test it like that but i don't think the video will be exciting at all so i'm going to show you what i did so i have a new motor here and i'm going to show you what it is i hadn't ever used this brand i got a castle 5700 somewhere around here brand new i just don't know where it is i got to find it that's really what i want to put in there but i wanted to go with a little higher kv rating so i'm going to show you what i have as you can see, the King Val, I guess that's how you pronounce it, King VAL motor. And this is a 6900 KV motor. So I went with something with a little bit higher KV because I know that motor that I currently have, KV is, uh, I don't know, I want to say it's like 1800, maybe 2000, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what it is. I had the motor that long, but to get that truck moving, that 2S is not going to do it. So we ended up going with something with a higher KV. Like I say, this should be a 6900. And it's a shorter can, as you can tell. More speed and less torque. So I'm hoping the gear I have, I can pop it on here and let it do its thing. But this is my first time trying this brand. Like I say, I got a castle somewhere, but I don't know exactly where it is. But I don't want to break the bank because I'm not going to leave this one in there. Going back at some point with a 4S and a 6S setup. So these wheels are going to be taken off. And I'm going to use this for another project that I have coming. But I got to wait a while because the guy that normally does the wheels, he had a surgery. And I got to wait on him because I want to redo these. I'm going to have him reform these. I'm going to use it for something else. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on this particular one. I decided to try a set of these Speedhawk wheels by Duratrex. These come with 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter hex. We'll be using the 12s on this build. And looking at it online, it's a really good looking tire. I don't know how well it's gonna perform against the foam. And the reason I'm saying that, cause the foam does not expand. So you guys know I'm a big foam guy. But again, like I said, I got to wait on this guy that normally does my tires. I got to wait on him to get back in the groove of things. And then we'll be probably putting another set of foams on there. I have to figure out what wheels I wanna go with. I'm gonna go ahead and get this open and let you see these as well. We got the speed hogs. I've tried Duratrax back in the day, a long time ago. I don't know how well these are gonna do, but that thing has some serious torque. So I'm hoping the B stays on the rim, but I guess we just have to see. Cause again, like I say, I'm used to running foam wheels and by me running foam wheels, I never have to worry about them exploding or anything like that or ballooning, you know, and losing control. So I'm going for not so much speed runs with this anyway, but I'm going for, you know, when I get off work, put it down, get some rips in and come back in the house. And of course these are the adapters. This is a from a 14 to a 12.
we are back and I got everything all set up on here. Let me show you what I have. We got the wheels mounted up and they look really, really good. I don't know how well the traction is gonna do on them, but we'll find out soon. I also cleaned this thing up, guys. One of the things you'll notice on this body is this pipe. And I used to have people ask me a question about that. Well, originally when this came out, this was a gas vehicle. This particular one wasn't because this is the E-version. And I think they capitalized really well on making the E-version of this because I remember buying one right after it came out. So the original was Nitro and they did the E-version. I really wish they would do another one of these smaller size, maybe this size, maybe even a little smaller. Another thing I got to do, I got to find my body clips, pins. I have no idea where they are. I got a bunch of them somewhere, but I got to find those. Show you what's under the hood. As you guys saw earlier, we got everything installed. And the only thing I have a big concern about is this motor cogging like crazy because I do have a pretty large pinion on here. Of course, like I said, this was originally set up with a really low KV motor. Since we were testing a certain battery today, a 2S battery, I went ahead and got something that had a little bit more KV. As you can see, we got the EC5s on. Only thing left to do is take it out and let's see what it does. But before we go test this thing out, guys, you will go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment for me. Let me know if you like this style video versus the other style of videos that I've been doing. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't mind, go ahead and share this video as well. One more message before we get out here and do a run on this thing. I'm going to be putting a link to CNHL batteries. And if you use that link, you'll automatically get 5% off of your order. So make sure you click that link and check out some of their batteries. And again, this is the battery I'll be using. This is a 9,000 milliamp battery, 120C, 7.6 volts. All right, let's take it to the street. Okay, guys, we can go ahead and get the battery in it and take it out and get a run on it. So I went back and I went ahead and put the GPS on and I put the camera on as well. Ain't got no gas in it. So as you can see guys, it went into thermal. I anticipated that, I really expected it to do that because as you guys can see, I had a rather large pinion on here. But we're gonna go ahead and pop one of these on. I went ahead and went on Amazon and bought some more Mod 1 gears because I can't find the ones that I have. But we're gonna go ahead and get this put on and we're gonna run this thing.
And we're back with your damage report. And I didn't get it on film. I really hate I didn't. I ran out of storage on my GoPro. But as I had it on board, I was probably doing top speed. One of the wheels came off. It's not that bad of a damage. I just need to get some new axle pins and a wheel nut. But I'm so glad I put it back together. It is so fun, so fun, so fun. This particular model has been discontinued a long time ago. The crazy part about it is I can get all the parts except the chassis for what I've seen. I'm pretty sure the parts that are available are from other vehicles. It's about 100 degrees out there. But I do this for you. If you guys made it this far, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this and what you think I should do to it next. But until next time, guys, this is GNCRC. Thanks for watching.